Aereo is an internet television company that allows people to watch local broadcast television live or store it online to watch later in sort of a cloud DVR. And what happens is as soon as I say I would like to watch the Today Show, you send an impulse to your antenna. It wakes up, it tunes to that particular frequency, acquires the signal, and then sends it into the system so that it can be rendered on your uh, particular device. Aereo's technology is controversial and is opposed by broadcast networks, which allege that Aereo's retransmission of their material is effectively a large public performance, which amounts to copyright infringement. Our position is it's the consumer using the Aereo technology, much like they do in their home, is not a public performance. It's private conduct and it's uh, private use of that technology. I sort of look at the debate is really simply, how long can your wire be? Nobody has disputed that a consumer can have an antenna in their house. Nobody has disputed a consumer can have a DVR in their house. Question is, how long can the wire be? The broadcast networks fighting against Aereo argue that it is nonsensical to think that Aereo can provide tens of thousands of simultaneous private performances of their broadcasts. In a recent case, the dissenting judge called Aereo a Rube Goldberg-like contrivance designed to take advantage of legal loopholes. Typically, when people think about watching broadcast television, they think of giant antennas bolted to the side of their house or bunny ears sitting on top of their television set. Aereo, however, uses a slightly different approach. Each subscriber is assigned their own personal antenna, which is about the size of a nickel. So in order to make an antenna to be very broad in bandwidth to be able to cover an entire frequency range, and it, it's literally going to become a very long antenna because it has to be roughly proportional to the wavelength that's used. So, for example, if I'm at VHF, the wavelength would have to be something on the order of about 70 inches. So maybe a half of that would be a 35-inch antenna. I mean, we don't need to cover the entire band. We only need to cover that one channel that we're going to be tuning to. The old antenna didn't know what the consumer wanted to watch, so it had to do everything. Now, this antenna knows what the consumer wants to watch because the consumer told the poor antenna, tune to channel 2. So it can modify its behavior to be capable of only listening to channel 2, as opposed to listening to channel 2 through 500. Aereo has won most of its court battles, but the tide has turned against it recently. Its service was shut down this past weekend in Denver and Salt Lake City following an injunction granted by the U.S. District Court of Utah. And in its upcoming Supreme Court case, the Obama administration has come out against Aereo in an amicus brief filing to the court. In fact, the court's decision to hear the case at all may signal some sympathy to the network's argument that Aereo poses an existential threat to their industry.